me ask you this. You and, and Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Was there a real altercation when people say that? Because I know at one point Floyd Mayweather and, and 50 Cent, y'all were boys. Yeah, yeah. Was it a real altercation? Like, was it physical or was it just like we just kind of kind of fell out of touch with each other? Yeah, we, we had a slight little thing. In it was spot. physical? Yeah. <laughs> really, though? Did he hit you? Yeah, that's what he's going to respond. Like, this, around the time he had the WE, he said, oh, no, I'm going to make sure you're sure you, my boy. You know, I'm going to make sure you're all right. I'm going you know, right. to take some of this. Because it's a million dollars in the bag. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't take this. It's just that, I, reflex, not, I You know, then we, we was playing, we went to wrestling and stuff, and then Leonard and him coming in, told him, oh, nah, man. Oh, really, though? Never stopped playing. Did he hit you? Yeah, yeah, in the back of my head. In the back of your head? I was taking the money. Ah. Oh. Did you hit him back? I, I grabbed him. But then after that, we get into, like, like, once I grab him, I don't care who you are. You're 150 pounds, I grab you, I got you. Right. Are you and Floyd okay? Was there any truth to you and him fighting at all? Yeah, we got into a little thing, but that's the thing. Like, you know what it is? Because we, we both real physical. And? Uh, and, like, I, I, I put my hands <laughs> in his face. You see what I'm saying? For what? And it, it, it's a reflex for him to throw a punch. You see what I'm saying? So as soon as you, I put my hands in his face, like, I, we, we, we go back and forth with money. Like, we, we gamble a lot with things. You see what I'm saying? Oh. situations right you know people don't see eye to eye on certain situations and sometimes the best way to handle things is like okay we don't see eye to eye you know good luck with what you're doing you know i'd like to tell him good luck what he's doing and mm. and i want that to work the same way my way but you know we didn't see eye to eye and you know sometimes things can get you know because you is mine like as he was actually going in to actual to jail mm. he uh he asked me to um help him with mayweather promotion right then as you know, as he actually got in, I took a look. I realized there is no Mayweather promotions. There's no LLC. There's no CEO. It's not incorporated. There's no. It's just a. Just a name. Yeah, that comes out people's mouths. Right. See, 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 technically, Floyd is a Golden Boy fighter. Mm. You see what I'm saying? He fights on every Golden Boy card. They do all the 
footwork on like the negotiations show. and the imprint, the paperwork. It like, built the whole show. So when he says helping with Mayweather promotions and it's not there, I go, okay, I know what he means. He wants me to get it together, put it together for him. So I do TMT promotions. I get it all the way together, sign the actual fighters. We brought them over. I brought them over while Floyd was, you know, Carcerate. 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 Yeah. Then he comes home. There's the uh, Let's Get Floyd Back in Pocket campaign. It goes on where, you know, it's $300,000 chains being bought and buying the new Lamborghini and all these new things. And then and I'm sitting there going, yo, when are you going to give me the money? Because you had already invested. Yeah. Right. Like, when you going to give me your half of the money back? But I ain't trying to press him because he just got out of jail. Right. I'm looking at him going, so there ain't no pressure there, but I'm saying, when is he going to say he wants, to, you know, to give me the other half of it? Well, I got to ask you for it. Right. And then when he... Are we talking over $2 million? It's about that. Oh, okay. At that point, it was, you know, invested in. All right. So, look, he goes, when he finally does bring up the actual uh, situation, he, uh, he 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 acted like he didn't know anything. Like, ah, I didn't tell you. No, being 50 Cent didn't see eye to eye. I wish him nothing but the best always. You know, I'm not going. I don't, I'm not going to sit right here and say, "You're like I said the same thing before in the interview." You can't be my friend on Tuesday, but then you're not my friend right. on Wednesday. You know, when when two when two people don't see eye to eye, it's best that they shake hands and say, "You know what? Continue doing what you're doing, and I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing." And that's how that's how that's how you know real real men handle business. Right? 2014, Floyd was getting accused of trying to get with Ti's wife, Tiny, at that time. And of course, T.I. did not like that, so when T.I. ran up on Floyd Mayweather, apparently a fight happened, and T.I. ended up breaking his hand. On top of that, Floyd's ex, Miss Jackson, ended up going with Nelly and leaving Floyd. So of course, 50 Cent decided to get on Instagram and completely troll him. Chat, what the fuck is going on, man? Niggas tell me you down there at the Fat Burger fighting over Titan. Now that's T.I., bitch, man. You gonna cause these niggas to buy more guns in Atlanta. No, no, I'm your brother. I'm going to tell you like it is, chap. Your uppercut ain't going to mean shit when niggas start shooting. What? Fuck. Man, why you keep going back to what she look like? I wouldn't care if the motherfucker fell out of beauty patch and it's his bitch, man. No, no, you listen to me. You ain't never shot a motherfucker a day in your life. You 150 pounds. You ain't no gangster. You's a boxer. Nigga, what? Woke up. I look at the computer. The computer said, Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. Say fuck that nigga. Then on of that and decided to challenge Floyd Mayweather to read one page out of a Harry Potter book. This is a special A-S-L-E-L-S challenge for you, Floyd. If you can read one full page of a Harry Potter book, nigga, I'll give 750000 to whatever charitable organization you want to. Fuck the bucket of ice, man. Phone call from my man Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy said if Floyd accepts the challenge, then he'll put it on the actual show. So you can read it on the show. We don't want to put pressure on you. We know you can't pronounce those words in that Harry Potter book, so we're going to let you read Cat in the Hat. Heather responded to that and posted a photo of two checks that he has with a caption saying, read this. 50 then appeared on Angel Martinez's show. 50 posted a picture of them two together with the caption saying, the original money team, you gotta love it, my brother's ready, May 2nd, don't get scared now. On Instagram, he posted a picture, and in the caption he said, the TMZ people put cameras in my face, I didn't say nothing about the champ, it just didn't feel right. I'd be wanting to kill that fool, but he my little brother. Don't tell him I said this, I know he can't read this shit, lol. As I'm saying, the guy to my left doesn't need much introduction, but <laughs> Mr. 50 no TVE. Floyd, Money Mayweather. Floyd, how you feeling, brother? I'm feeling all right, y'all. I'm feeling great. But we're here at your at your fitness gym in Los Angeles, California. Yes. What was the inspiration behind it? Because I remember... Um, you can see right here behind you, uh, Mayweather Boxing Fitness. Right. We want people to look good, feel good, and be happy. That's really what it's about. We're the new era right. fitness gyms. Manny Pacquiao recently came out and was like, let's do round two. Uh -huh. Is there a dollar amount that will get you back in the ring? I got to say this. I'm, congratulations to Manny Pacquiao on his latest victory. Right, right. Floyd Mayweather has a great life yeah. outside of boxing. Of course. I was one of the ones that made smart investments. For sure. So that I was able, because I still wanted that same lifestyle. Right. You know, when I wasn't fighting, I should say. I wanted that same lifestyle. So, uh, 
Manny, make some smart investments. You wouldn't worry about boxing. What would it take for you to get in the octagon against Conor McGregor? It's just all about my children. No, they, they're grown. So it's ever a point where you say enough is enough? Well, I, I said enough is enough. You guys seen for years, I don't bash no one on social media. I don't talk bad about no one on social media. I wish 50 nothing but the best. I want him to keep doing what he's doing. I watch Power. Right. I mean, even if he left the show, yeah. people are still going to watch the show. I've been a, a great friend to him. You know, always, God stayed in my, stayed in my house plenty of times. We travel, uh, we laugh, we have fun. If you choose not to be my friend, friend no more, then so be it. What okay? do you think went wrong? Uh, actually, a guy, Tommy Summers, who used to be around me, asked me, uh, I guess he went to 50 Cent and asked 50 Cent about getting involved in boxing. You know, I was doing time. I read the newspaper. It said that, um, you know, you know, congratulations to, you know, 50 Cent for wanting to get the boxing license for TMT Promotions. And, and I said, when I got out, I, you know, me and 50 Cent was riding in, in, in my Lamborghini one day. And uh, he said, uh, you know, what about, you know, you know, I got the promotion company basically trying to remove Al Heyman. It took me a from 1987 to now, you know, to build my brand. I said, you know, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing from G-Unit. I, I can't really say. Then he said that I, I owe him money. I don't owe anyone money. Whatever I to, whatever I show on social media is mine. When I go on, when I go out there and post the $18 million watch, I, you know, get it out. You got it with you? Get it out. I'm scared to touch that. So, so that's so, and we get somebody. <laughs> so, you know. You know, so I'm right not, there. I'm not touching that fluid. So that's, I'm just letting you know. That's real. So you know, like, so I don't, I don't, I don't want no, I don't want nobody to be fooled by these different rumors. Like I'm fronting, like I'm better. I'm, I'm, I'm no better than nobody else. I got mine from hard work and dedication. Real talk. I work my, I bust my ass from the ground up to get whatever I got. I pull up. Y'all know that. Okay. I really had a problem about anything. I don't make no song. I pull up. I just pull up. Period. I ain't got no problem with nothing by nothing except going against the motherfucking people. That's it. Same reason I spoke up when Kanye was goddamn tripping. Okay? Say how personal this shit sound. Damn it, must suck to be a fuck, nigga. Old greedy ass nigga only thinking about himself. They get the fame, then get the wealth. But people are struggling. Who did you help? People are struggling. Who did you help? Who did you help? Fuck, nigga. Damn it, must suck to be a fuck, nigga. Old greedy ass nigga only thinking about himself. They get the fame, they get the wealth. But people are struggling. Who did you help? People are struggling. Who did you help? Who did you help? Fuck, nigga. Team Hypercard. It makes sense that someone who has the financial status of Floyd Mayweather would spend their money on a nice car. But the ride you see Mayweather leaning on in this photo isn't just any old sports car. It's known as the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, and it's one of the most expensive cars ever. Translated from Swedish, Trevita means three whites, which refers to the diamond weave in the carbon fiber bodywork of the car. Mayweather reportedly bought this car for $4.8 million. The car goes up to 250 miles an hour, and though many call it a supercar, Mayweather insists it's more of a hypercar. Only two of these CCXR Trevita cars were ever made, and need all that gaudy jewelry on their person ever. Good thing he works out because all that gold and silver and diamond stones must be a weight to put on. A stereotype is that all rich people have a private jet, and Floyd Mayweather is no exception. Specifically, he owns a Gulfstream G550, which is usually used as a business aircraft. But Mayweather wouldn't be Mayweather if he didn't take a piece of aircraft like that and then customize it to be every inch as luxurious as the rest of the lifestyle he leads. Inside, there's, of course, some flat screen TVs and a mini bar. Oh, and did we mention he also has another private jet? Well, he does, and that one's got gold sinks complete with gold cup holders. Say what you want about the man, but he's got something of a Midas touch. Number 13, boxer shorts. He's considered one of the best boxers of all time, so it makes sense that one of the best ever, as some would say, would have some of the most expensive underwear ever. Uh, we mean expensive boxer shorts ever. There is financial worth in everything this man puts on. It goes without saying how rich Mayweather is. So rich that he's got enough money to bet $10.4 million on the Denver Broncos winning the Super Bowl in 2014. Or at least that's what everyone's saying. Mayweather himself denies having placed that bet, saying he would never do that. What he did do for sure was place a $200,000 bet on Johnny Manziel in a game between Texas A&M and Southern Methodist. To prove 
prove he placed this bet, he did the only sensible thing you would do to prove the skeptics wrong. He posted the receipt on Twitter. Thousand square foot mansion situated in the Las Vegas Valley. Inside, there's a movie theater, a walk-in closet that's supposedly the size of a living room, a gym, and a 12-person shower. And if you're a guest in his house and need to use the bath, car collection. Number 10, designer bag collection. Those of you familiar with designer bag history, you know that the Hermes Burkine bags are somewhat of a fashion staple. And as common as they are for the affluent to own, they do not come cheap. Depending on the edition, some bird can boo. And what else would it be if it wasn't a penthouse? Located on the Off the Strip Hotel Casino of the Palms, Mayweather's penthouse can be found at the top of the Palms Place. Selling price that he supposedly bought for it was $1.81 million, which is a measly amount compared to all the other things he spent his money on. So in a way, this is one of the least ridiculous. So it seems a mansion and penthouse in Las Vegas just isn't enough for one single person to own. That's fine, or at least that's fine for Mayweather, as he also has a mansion in Miami that he calls his own. Mayweather dropped $7.7 million in cash on this little 5,200 square foot modern pool property. That would be extravagant for most of us, but it's only a fraction of the size of his house in Las Vegas, so there's that to keep in mind. And we'd like to reiterate, he paid in cash for this five bedroom house, which is located near Miami Beach. Walk-in closet is complete without a huge shoe collection. These shelves of sneakers are just a little part of Mayweather's whole shoe collection and is a photo that he posted himself on Instagram because if there's anyone more willing to show off his belongings, it's this man himself. Also referred to as a land yacht, aside from one of the most expensive cars ever and two private jets, another mode of transportation Floyd Mayweather bought for himself is a Mercedes party bus whose interior is akin to the environment you'd find in a metropolitan nightclub. This customized Mercedes-Benz Sprinter costs a professional boxer $300,000, which is chump change at this point. It not only comes with a 55-inch TV that features DirecTV and Apple TV, there's also lots of seating room, a bar, heated massage chairs, and a surround sound stereo Best of his transportation collection. That being his hoard of cars that he keeps in his private garage. In an interview with ESPN, Mayweather stated that the cars he owns come out to about $15 million. It's said that he's owned hundreds of cars throughout the years and that a portion of those cars were 16 Rolls Royces. And we'll give him this one. If you had the money, it makes sense you would want to give your fiancé one extravagant ring. Now split from Mayweather, on and off again partner Chantel Jackson was once presented with the $10 million engagement ring you see sitting on her finger. Jackson and Mayweather split not long after, and Mayweather was holding back as to the reasons why, which he discussed on his social media pages. This sounds way ridiculous at first. Why would a boxer need to buy tickets to his own fight? It's easily explained, however. Floyd Mayweather bought the tickets to give out to his friends and family, a color watch collection. We know that Mayweather is a man who loves jewelry. Okay, he loves anything expensive, but you've got to admit the man has an eye not just for cars, but accessories. And that includes a collection of eight Rolex watches, eight Audemars Piguet watches, one Rainbow Tourbillon, one Piaget Galaxy, three Frank Muller watches. First of all, who even owns an iPad anymore that they didn't buy from at least the past decade? Floyd Mayweather, that's who. He posted a photo on Instagram of his custom-made diamond-encrusted iPod. In the background, you can see that the Apple earphones are wrapped around a wad of $100 bills, which Mayweather posted with the caption, money is music to my ears. 